Hey guys, welcome to today's class. My name is Julia. This is my little sweetie Mishka. These cats at the place I am farm sitting have turned me into a literal cat lady. So I'm now a bunny and a cat lady and I love it. <laughs> Anyways, today's class is part one of three. We will be doing a morning stretch, a beautiful warming, opening morning stretch. All you'll need is your body, your mat, so meet me in child's pose. My little sweetie. My little sweetie. You look like a little baby. Oh, you're so gorgeous. You curl up here while I do the yoga, okay? All right, let's meet in child's pose, beginning with our knees together. You can gently hug your legs, gentle little sway side to side, waking up those hips. And we'll just take a moment here, bye sweetheart, <laughs> to allow our body to gently wake up. Maybe it's first thing in the morning, maybe you're doing this later on. Either way, breathing slowly, breathing deeply. Next inhale, we'll walk fingertips forward, knees open up as wide as the mat. Spine lengthens, heart lifts. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, light on fingertips, heart lifts. Walking those hands all the way over to the left. We lengthen and expand. Exhale, takes us all the way down. Inhale, all the way through center, nice and slow. And to the right. We expand, exhale, release, getting deep into that right hip flexor. Inhale once more, all the way back through center. We're going to shift the weight forward, bring those knees in a touch, and we'll walk our hands forward to puppy pose. So softening our forehead down to that mat. You can connect with your chin instead if you'd like. Either way is perfect. Really getting into those shoulders and those arms. Maybe introducing a gentle sway side to side. Hips are up in the air. Couple more moments here. On our next inhale, we're pressing through fingertips, arms lift up off of the earth, heart opens forward. Exhale, we draw those hands towards the body coming to tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Soft little bend in those elbows. Let's inhale, tailbone grows back, spine lengthens, heart opens. Exhale, tail tucks, spine rounds, chin to chest. Letting your breath lead the movement. Inhale, and then we expand back. Moving through a couple more rounds of cat-cow in your own timing and allowing your body to sway or to move any way you need. Maybe little circles. Meeting in a nice neutral tabletop. Let's unite the breath with an exhale. Big inhale, right arm lifts to the sky. Beautiful side body stretch. Exhale through center. Let every last bit of air out, you guys. Moving nice and slowly. Inhale, left arm lifts. Heart opens. Exhale, we release. Once more on each side, again, moving in your own timing, allowing your breath to move the body. Should feel really nice. Beautiful meeting in tabletop. We might need to walk those knees in a touch if they've widened up. Walk your hands forward, one hand width. Weight shifts forward, elbows stay nice and 
close, nice and tight, close to the body. We lift the navel up to the spine to activate the core. And let's inhale, we expand through the crown of that head. Exhale, slow lower, all the way down. Do you see just how slow you can go? Tops of toes press into earth, shoulders draw back, heart lifts, cobra. All the way up, exhale, child's pose. Nice and flowy, we'll move through two more rounds of this. Inhale, exhale, slow lower to the earth. Inhale, cobra, heart opens. We're lifting with that low back. Exhale, childs. Inhale, we crawl, <laughs> creep forward. <laughs> Exhale, slow lower. Inhale, cobra. Shoulder blades draw back towards each other. Exhale, child. Inhale, forward. This time we are tucking toes and popping up to a nice strong plank. So let's really spread our fingers, soft bend in elbows. Legs are strong. One straight line through those legs, all the way up the spine through the neck and out the top of the head. Lift our bellies towards the spine, soft round in the shoulders. Good work. <laughs> and you might be sweating a little bit. It's mostly a stretch today, but a little bit of work as well to build some heat. Weight shifts forward as slow as we can, keeping those elbows nice and close. We're lowering all the way down. Oh, that was hard work. Amazing. Let's press tops of toes into earth. Extend those arms forward. Forehead plants down. Big inhale, just the arms lift. We're really lifting with that low back and focus on length over height. Exhale, we release. Inhale, tops of toes press the earth. Arms extend, chest lifts. Exhale, release. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, legs lift, arms lift, Shalabhasana. We're growing in opposite directions. Neck is neutral for three, two, and one. Softly lower, elbows bend. Right knee bends and we catch the top of the foot. Gentle sway side to side with that leg. Little quadricep stretch. Tiny little rest. Let's release the leg, switching sides of cheek on that. I'm gonna scoot down because I'm fully off my mat. And we bend the left knee, catch the left foot, coming to the other side. Breathing slowly, breathing deeply. Leg releases, palms plant down underneath the shoulders, toes tuck, shoulder blades draw back, big inhale to prepare. Exhale, pushing up through plank, Hips up and over. Down dog, babies. <laughs> Let's go ahead and walk it out right away. Deep bend in one knee and then the other. There's cat hair all over my mat, which I don't mind. <laughs> when I was in like grade five, there was a girl in my class, one of my friends actually, who had pets at home. I did not have pets. And I was always so jealous that her clothes were covered in fur. <laughs> I was like, I want my clothes to be covered in fur. So now that they are, I was CC, my bunny, and this month with all these 
little fur balls, I'm very happy. All right, <laughs> enough talking, enough walking out the dog. Let's meet in a nice neutral dog. Soft bend in those knees, extend through the arms, spine lengthens, neck releases, tail tilts up to the sky. Inhale, gaze shifts forward, keeping that nice deep bend. Let's walk to the top of our mat. And we exhale, forward fold. Let's connect the low belly and upper thigh to protect our low back. Catch opposite elbows, gentle sway side to side. Little ragdoll. Exhale, we release fingertips. Inhale, spine lengthens, heart lifts, halfway lift, hands slide up the shins. Exhale, we release down. Inhale, left arm to sky, right fingertips can slide up that shin or they can stay on the earth, deep bend in the right knee. Exhale through center. Inhale, deep bend in the left knee, right fingertips lift. Just coming into some nice twists here. Exhale, we release. Moving through one more round in your own timing, you guys. Really opening that heart up to the sky. Reaching, reaching, <laughs> and release. Let's press, ground those feet into the earth. Big inhale. Arms to sky, we lift. Maybe gaze lifts, palms connect, exhale. We release down if my head is cut off. I'm so sorry, we're coming down to the mat very soon. Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold. We step back through plank and we're gonna just shift that weight forward and back for five, nice, strong body strong legs for four, maybe gripping the mat with those fingertips. For three, always the option to come down to forearms if our wrists are sensitive. Two, really shift that weight forward and back. And one, hips up and over, down dog. Beautiful, weight shifts to the right foot. We flex that left foot and it hovers just an inch above the mat. It's like we're sucking the leg into the hip. Pointing left toes, they brush the mat. Left leg lifts nice and long. You can come up high onto those right toes if you need. It's early. Our hamstrings and our calves may be a little bit tight. And slow release, flexing the foot and hovering as we return to the earth. Twice more, inhale, we expand. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, knee bends, knee to nose. Let's lift it up, 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 thigh to chest. And now without a sound, we step through Square off those hips, left hip back, right hip forward. Back leg is strong, spine lengthens. We float off of our fingertips, slow lower to the mat with that back knee. Beautiful, untuck back toes. Big inhale, low lunge. Exhale, palms to earth. We're nice and flowy now. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. We're going to walk that left foot out, coming into a nice wide lizard. If this doesn't feel, feel good, just stay in our nice little lunge. And we can gently sway here adjusting as you need. 
Option two, lower to forearms. Maybe even closing the eyes, really tuning in with our body. For two breaths. If you're on forearms, coming back up to our hands, we'll walk that foot back in and we'll take a nice inhale here. Low lunge, palms connect, gaze lifts, heart opens, coming nice and deep into that psoas. Maybe even a little back bend up and over. Beautiful exhale, palms ground down, back to tucks. Down dog. Weight shifts to the right side. No, I'm wrong. Weight shifts left. We flex the right foot. We suck that leg up into the hip. Point toes. Lift. Inhale. That all of those cues, exhale, release, are just to get that leg nice and long, nice and straight. I've noticed it works really well when I'm teaching in person, so we'll try it out here. Inhale to lift. You guys know what to do. Exhale, release. I am slipping all over the place. And last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, knee to nose. The eye lifts up, up, up to the chest without a sound. Can we step it through? Beautiful. Pop that back leg in a touch if you need. Right hip rolls back, left hip forward to square. Back leg is strong. Spine lengthens. We float those fingertips and we slowly lower the back knee. Low lunge. Inhale. Arms to sky. Nice and slow. Exhale, we release the arms down. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release, my sweet babies. Walking the right foot out to the right side of the mat, coming into lizard on the other side, only if this feels okay for your body. Otherwise, we're staying in our beautiful low lunge, arms up or down. And take your little sways, any little movements you need, and lower to your depth. We have three breaths here. Maybe closing your eyes. Next inhale, let's walk that foot back in and lift our arms up, low lunge. Really allow those hips to release forward and down, palms connect, gaze lifts, maybe a tiny back bend up and then over. Exhale, palms to mat. We step back through plank, hips to sky, down dog. Awesome, let's roll over the tops of those left toes, stretching out that shin, all the bones along the top of the foot. And then we'll switch, rolling over the tops of the right. Once more on each side. I love this one. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Beautiful, let's lower our knees down and shift the weight back. Quick little toe sit here. This one also feels amazing <laughs> because did you know, shoes are not good. <laughs> We're not really meant to wear shoes. Our toes should be nice and spread and receive input from the earth, the various, what I mean, whatever we're walking on really, whether it's grass or sand or concrete, um, but obviously in our modern world, <laughs> shoes are needed sometimes. 
So it's just good to stretch out all those little toes is all I was trying to say. And hopefully my incessant talking has distracted you if this is painful. <laughs> Let's inhale arms to sky to go a little bit deeper. Exhale, bend the elbows, connect two fists in front. We extend forward, nice gentle wrist stretch. And we release coming off of those toes. You can give them a gentle little tap. I love it. I don't feel anything anymore. Not that I'm bragging, just because I sit like that literally all the time. And I don't wear shoes a lot, so. All right, guys, coming into a gentle forward fold. You might, I don't know, I just felt like really lengthening my spine there. So if you feel like doing that, you go for it. And then we will actually begin with a soft bend in the knees. Feet are flexed, spine is nice and tall. Let's take a big inhale. Exhale, nice long spine. We reach forward. Low belly connects with upper thigh. And then our neck and head releases and rounds. We can take a gentle sway side to side with that neck, if this feels okay. And as long as you can keep some contact with your low belly and upper thigh, feel free to begin walking those feet a little bit more forward. But remember, it never matters what the pose looks like. It's just about receiving those beautiful body benefits, body and mind benefits, I should say, and keeping us safe. We'll take a little inhale, baby halfway lift, heart shines forward. Exhale, full release. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, arms release, left, left, left knee, foot, I can't talk. Left side bends, right leg extends, that was a good crack. Big inhale, arms up and behind the head, elbows draw back. Exhale, we ground down through the right sit bone. Inhale, right arm comes up and over. Let's draw that left elbow back. We're lengthening, and when we've reached our very maximum point, we release the hand, wherever that may be. It might be on the shin, maybe even, maybe not the thigh, because we'd be super upright, but if it is, that's also okay. Wherever you are is perfect. And that top arm can raise up to the sky and release down. We can maybe connect it to our low back or we can rest it on the left thigh, releasing the neck and the head. Inhale, spine lengthens. Left shoulder draws back, heart opens to the ceiling. And exhale, we release deeper. Slowly winding all the way up, we bend the right leg and extend the left. Ooh, more cracks, so satisfying. Inhale, arms come up and behind, elbows draw back. We ground down through the left sit bone as we exhale. Inhale, left arm up. Let's really draw that right elbow back and we're hinging and growing and growing, and then we land down. This side is a lot more tight for me today. Top arm reaches to the sky and releases, taking whatever option feels good for you. And let's really release into this stretch here. Beautiful side body stretch, beautiful stretch for the leg as well. Head and neck are heavy. Face softens, maybe eyes close. Mine were closed, I didn't even notice. Inhale, we lengthen. Right shoulder draws back, heart lifts up. Exhale, full melt. And inhale all the way up. 
we're keeping that leg extended and we're going to extend the right leg coming into our center split. So option now to grab a pillow or a folded up blanket and place it underneath your bum, just sitting on the edge of it to give your spine a little bit more length and give a little bit of a tilt for that pelvis. Otherwise, we're sitting up nice and tall, nice straight spine. And let's just pause here for a moment. This is really strong on our hip flexors. Wonderful stretch for the legs, strengthening as well. So be easy on yourself. Wherever the legs are is perfect, okay? We're getting the beautiful benefits. And we're either staying up nice and tall, always the option to keep those hands planted down behind us, or we can begin to walk those fingertips forward, releasing to our depth. And now let's soften the feet. So we're not flexing them actively anymore. We're coming a little bit more passive and allow our hips to soften as well. Shine that heart, open that heart forward. Spine stays nice and long. Maybe closing down the eyes. Maybe releasing the neck. Couple of breaths here. Slowing down the inhale and the exhale. Next inhale, if our arms are extended, walking fingertips forward, heart lifts up. Exhale, we melt. And we'll walk all the way back up, nice and slow, catching underneath the thighs and guiding those legs in very gently. Hands come behind the body, gentle windshield wiper, side to side with those knees, releasing the hips, releasing the low back. Awesome, we're gonna swivel to face the front of our mat once more, maybe holding those shins and extending through the spine, little crack. Arms reach forward, feet are planted, belly button towards the spine, soft little rounding curve of the spine this time. And we're gonna lower as slow as we can all the way down. Find a little bit of core activation for our morning stretch. Our very active morning stretch, I should say. Amazing, I'm just gonna reposition on my mat. Let's walk those heels towards the body. Just a touch, we can just touch the heels with our fingertips. And let's move into a few rounds of bridge. Exhale together to begin. Inhale, hips rise up to the sky, nice and slow. Arms can lift up with the hips. I realized mine just instinctively did that. Exhale, release. Vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way back down. Twice more, inhale to lift. Let's imagine we have a block between our knees so our thighs are active. Pause at the top, maybe a little gentle squeeze of those glutes. Exhale, release. And last time, inhale, we lift. We're gonna pause at the top. You can keep your arms raised to the sky for a more active version, more active for our glutes. You can lower the palms to the mat for a more supported variation or interlace the fingers and walk in on those shoulders to get a little bit higher. Wherever we are, we're breathing for three, for two, let's get those hips up, thighs are lengthening forward. Last moment here. Releasing our grip or lowering our arms with the body and as slow as we can. 
we release. All the way down. Feels so relaxing. Okay, arms open up. We can release those knees to the left and to the right. Once more on each side. My eyes are fully staying closed right now. That sun feels so nice. Okay, knees coming towards the chest, gentle sway. And we'll release the knees over to the left, body twists to the right. Right shoulder stays in contact with the earth. If this means your knees lift up a little bit, just place a pillow or a blanket underneath the knees. And this helps to guide the twist deep into the intestines for all of the great detoxification benefits. Detoxification and digestion, I should say. Gently guide those legs through center and over to the right. Body twists and opens to the left. Left shoulder in contact with the earth. Allowing your belly to release, breathing deeply. The inhale fills your belly with air. It expands. Gently making our way back through center. Taking any final little movements you need. Maybe a big stretch, arms overhead, legs to sky. Some flex and point. Maybe then <laughs> moving into happy baby. I said take whatever you need and then I kind of told you what to do, but <laughs> final movements of the class. So in happy baby, if your feet feel a little bit far away, you can catch around the ankles. The shins are being cradled by the forearm and that feels really nice. So either option. Beautiful, you guys. Let's very gently make our way up to a seat. We can roll on up or we can roll to the right and then use our hands to guide us. And we'll just finish with a little moment. Where did that sun go? I love the sun <laughs> at the back of my mat. We'll finish with a moment of presence before we carry on with our day. So getting into a comfy seat, palms facing up to receive energy from our world. Nice, tall spine, we inhale, we grow, we become lighter. Exhale, shoulders relax and release. Face softens. Slow inhale through the nose. And out through the mouth. Let's place one hand on our heart followed by the other and just take a moment to give yourself a little bit of love and gratitude for doing something beautiful for your body today and hopefully reconnecting a little bit with who we are on the inside by slowing down and just being. And then you can join me in giving yourself a little bit of love, saying in your head or out loud to yourself, I love you. I love you. Gently releasing the hands, blinking open those beautiful eyes. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of an outburst. We are all done. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Class one of three in the pool house. Anyways, beautiful babies. I hope that you feel really nice and I hope that you have a really beautiful day. I'll see you very soon. <laughs>